I can't do my job uh, without clinical trials. Uh, we can't make progress without clinical trials. The thing that makes us different, I think, that stands out from other cancer centers is we have so much basic science going on right here at Massey Cancer Center. And we have the opportunity to offer patients treatments that they wouldn't be able to get at other hospitals that are not NCI designated cancer centers. We are really at an era right now in scientific advancement where we have a deeper understanding of cancer and the body and how it responds to cancer than we've ever had before. And the drugs that are being designed are very sophisticated and leading to some of the best responses we've ever seen. We've seen uh, survival from cancer improve dramatically over the last several years, in large part thanks to these new developments. I think for an individual patient, the best reason to enroll in a clinical trial is because they can get tomorrow's treatment today. Um, that's the biggest benefit to an individual person. We have so much to learn when it comes to cancers. Cancer cells are quite smart at uh, evading our attempts to rid patients of them. So uh, I think that's where clinical trials come in and are crucial. It's just nice to see that the data and all the hard work that we've been putting into, it ha you can see the, the potential, the benefit of it, that yes, I am doing this for a reason. My work is coming out successfully. In that, yes, it's going to be a standard of care drug to help patients. Yeah, the, the patients absolutely are pioneers um, and we're, we're always grateful uh, for the participation of patients. Um, one of the benefits for patients is a chance to try new therapies, uh, especially in situations where we don't have a lot of other great choices for treatment. In some ways for the patient, I think it's a free second opinion. I also think that on clinical trials overall, um, the therapy is managed more closely. We report all adverse events, um, there may be some additional studies in between that otherwise would we wouldn't do, but that could give important information. I would do this trial again. Uh, you know, everybody's body is different. Uh, I was in the VCU system. The VCU system worked because uh, uh, because of the medical care I received. That a doctor, like I said, was inquisitive enough that got me a test that discovered it early, and then uh, the trial. Uh, they've had three other patients prior to me. From what I understand, they're, they've all succeeded. Um, but don't be just a bystander in your own care. Do as much research as you can. Ask questions. But I would definitely do the trial again, and I, I think that's why I'm standing here today, you know, sitting here today talking. I like to be involved in clinical trial because it gives me hope. It makes me feel hopeful that I'm involved in a process in which I'm, in the future, hopefully, giving less bad news. Um, and so that's actually one of my main impetus for being in clinical trial, besides the you know, advancement of science and advancement of knowledge. As a result of those work together from the bench and from our clinicians, we now are able to present the miracle drugs. You know, the pdl one inhibitors and these things, the checkpoint inhibitors that we now have today that are now saving the lives of lung cancer patients that only 15 to 10 years ago would have been left for really, uh, for dead. That comes about because of dedication and the pursuit and commitment, the dogged commitment, I might add, of really courageous people, both on the patient side and on our scientist side, to keep that something that we know really ultimately at the end with more knowledge and more science, we can come up with better answers and better trials.